Okay, good day. This is a Home Designer Pro 8. I made a, a simple model just for the purpose of uh, answering the question. And uh, the only other thing in terms of printing it and, and controlling the uh, output, uh, especially if, if with Pro, is you want to create a layout sheet. That's a uh, file, new layout. I left clicked on that. You get a little virtual window here. Uh, and this virtual window is determined by your print drivers. Predetermined by whatever how printer you're hooked up to. So let's check that out first. We'll go over here to print, print page setup. Left click, by the way. <clears throat> you can see there's some, some confusing stuff here, but let's go through it. And this is the way I do it every time I print, and, and so I recommend it to you. First thing you want to check is printer. Now left click on that button. You can see that I've got a little desk jet letter size printer here connected. If you want to print the maximum size, uh, and you probably want to use a printer larger than this, let's use uh, Qt. That's the one I use, often use. Now this is not a, a physical mechanical printer. It's a it converts whatever data you send to it into a PDF file. I think the largest uh, that uh, Pro 8 would, will output to is 18 by 22, something like that. <clears throat> so I'm going to click on the Properties button. And I, in this case, since my screen is kind of a, a landscape, I'm going to set the pr output printing to landscape. Click on the Advanced button. And we're in Qt now. We're not my in my little HP printer, so I'm going to select, let's see, what is it, C that's 18 by 22? I forget. Let's see. Okay. You notice this little graphic changed? There's a bunch of little lines in it, and then now there's fewer lines. Well, the next thing you need to do is make uh, your the way your print drivers are set up agree with the setup inside of uh, Pro 8. So there's a set here, and then so this orientation, these are two different orientation buttons. That's your print driver orientation. And you can see I've got Arch C here, and I've got Arch D here. That's a larger size, larger than uh, Pro can print to. So let's try, oh yeah, there it is, 18 by 24. Well, that's not quite 18 by 22, is it? I think that's the maximum output for uh, Pro 8. Anyway, you see the virtual window over here now has no divisional lines in it. And it's just showing you how many virtual pieces, pieces of paper your printer is set up for. Let's drop it to uh, letter size. See, you see the, that's how many letter size pieces of paper it would print, would be required to print at this size. So that's what the, this little graphic is for. So I don't see the exact size that I want in the print drivers for Qt. Let's go to a PostScript custom size page, or custom page size. <clears throat> and uh, let's see what... We'll click over here on Customize. Well, it's not... Sorry, I'm fumbling around here a little bit, but I haven't done this in a while. Uh, let's see, ANSI... Well, that's that's within the range we want. ANSI, ANSI C. I don't remember what ANSI and Architect... ARCH stands for Architectural. ANSI is an American National Standards Institute, Institute I think. Let's go with that. Instead of creating a custom size, we'll do on CC. And so up here, I'm going to uh, change this to ANSI, if I can find it. I don't see it listed. That was 17, 11, what was that? 18 by 20, wait a minute. Where did that go? There it is. There we go, and it's on CC. If I can find it up here, that's uh, 17 by 22. I'll find something that says 17 by 22. 
forgive me if I don't have all these memorized. It's a lot of trivial significance to me because I, I normally don't print in anything but architectural D or letter or tabloid. <clears throat> Let's see. Hopefully this will be useful to you on how you, how you figure this stuff out. All right, let's go to that. Well, that's not graphic white. This graphic is useful because it's uh, going to tell you that uh, this that this doesn't agree with this. How can I fix that? I should be able to like customize. I don't see it. There's no way to customize up here. All right, well, let's find something that's, I'm used to being able to make a custom size, and apparently uh, within Pro 8, you can't do that, or at least with this cute PDF stuff. <coughs> See, what what is A3? Let's look at, I'm just look at the graphic. You can tell that A3 isn't exactly it. A4, that's, that's smaller. If I had these memorized, perhaps I could get, get this done a little bit faster. Ooh. Okay. Now we got a white graphic here. So these these two sizes, whatever A2 is and on CC are, are fairly close together. Let's go with that. And you notice when I click OK, then this virtual window change. Well don't assume what what it is. Find out what it is. Let's see what size that act is showing that's going to print. That's uh 22 inches. See it down in the taskbar, 1 foot, 10 inches. Okay. And we'll measure this way. And that's 17 inches, 17 by 22. Okay. Now, a word on uh, before you proceed, it's like, you see this little blue line? If you put anything over that, uh, it won't print. That blue line is a printable area line. Okay. You put something over the edge, you can be confident that it's not going to print. Okay, I'm going to hit Control Tab, Control Tab key. We'll go back to this image and the screen. It's not an image yet, and I'm going to make I'm going to finalize it. Final view. Okay, kind of cleaned it up. Now we're going to send it to layout. Send to layout. Okay, I just have to give this test plan a name. Since I'm going to throw it away, it's just for the purpose of this uh, tutorial. I'm just going to save it to the desktop. I'm going to call it Untitled Plan 1. Okay, now maybe it'll let me send the layout. Okay, and all the other options are grayed out because images are handed, handled differently from other things you send to layout for printing. Okay, and you can see the... the uh, Image came in larger than the print than the uh, print area window, so this is kind of where I was heading for. When you click on the image, there's handles on it. Now, if I move it, the edge handles like this, it's going to deform the image. You know, squishes it. Well, that's not very really good. I'm going to hit Control Z to undo that. So, what the, what you want to do to resize an image is to Use the corner handles. The corner handles maintains the uh, relative size of the image. And there's a printable area shown there. So you use these corner handles. You don't scale images, by the way. You can only keep them relationally correct relative to themselves. Now, <clears throat> Like I said, that's the extents there. If I don't need this area and this area, well, then I can go over over the edge of the printable area, and it'll just be eliminated. Just however you want this image to print. And this is the power of a, of a layout sheet, because you can lay this out on the layout sheet. And it's only going to print what's in the printable area. So in this middle handle, that's the move handle. I'm going to left-click, drag that. Okay, and I'll make it a little bit larger, just to minimize the uh, wide area. 
or non-color non area that's going to print. But I don't want to clip the eave of the house either. This is a whole, this is, the main reason this and manual roof tools, why Pro is a much better choice than other home designer programs. Okay, I've got, I've got the eaves in there. That's about as large as I'm going to make, be able to make that image. Okay. So now that that's lined up, we can uh, print. This time we don't go print page setup, we go print. And uh, in printing, you want to keep this radio button right where it is to scale. In other words, relative to the selected virtual piece of paper, you want you're scaling one inch equals one inch. And we're going to print in color in this case. Another point here is when you're printing, you never assume any of these are exactly the way you want them. You check every one of them. Uh, just like a pilot getting into a, an airplane, they have a checklist. When printing, unless you want to waste a lot of paper and ink, you check all of these. It's not even a bad idea to check your uh, print properties again. I know in older versions, they would tend to go back to the Windows defaults every time you, after you print. So you can't assume that they're going to be the same. Now in Windows 7 and later versions of Home Designer, that's become uh, quite a bit more reliable. Okay, we're ready to print. Come on. Click OK. With QDF uh, PDF, and then you get this Save As uh, interface here. And I'm going to put it on the desktop again. And we're going to give this, uh, well, that, that's, for the purposes of demonstration, that's a fine name. We'll click OK. And now let's minimize all this. And there's the picture right there. I'm going to double click on that and it'll open in an image editing piece of software I have. You can see the, oh no, it'll just open in, uh, I'm sorry, that's something else. There's the PDF there. Now the image editing, yeah, that's going to open. Let me close that. I'm not interested in that. There's a PDF product that I just printed. We'll click that and open, open that in uh, Adobe Acrobat Reader. You can see the result. He said confidently. I just installed the Adobe Reader and go to meetings, so some of the stuff is cranking up a little slower than it would like in Windows 7. Pretty though. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay, so just like I predicted in the PDF file, uh, those, those things that were indicated as off the printable area were eliminated. Let's, so you get the idea. So that's how you can maximize an image to uh, a PDF. Now, you print on paper the same way. But hopefully some of this stuff will be uh, kind of useful to you. Uh, in, in terms of uh, answering your question. So we have layouts, we have the image window, and there's a little plan file that I, and there's a camera still active from which I made it from. Thank you.